doing from Miss A's V-Block. Oh. Hi, I'm Liv from Miss B's PEA Block, and I'll be showing you how to put on a harness. Proper size. From the pile, you must choose your proper size. Since I'm an X small, I will look forward to this small and put the other one aside. Untangle. As you can see, the leg buckles will probably be very tangled. So you must make sure that they are not tangled so you will not get hurt. Nothing looks wrong, so I'm good. Step. Now I'll step into the harness and pull it up. Waist belt. Then you let go of the leg belts and tighten your waist belt. First hole and pull to make sure it is tight enough. Then you put it into the other hole and pull. Then since it says double back, we'll double back it. Push the D towards your body and put the strap into the gap. Fist check. Now you make sure that you cannot put your fist in through easy on the side. Since it cannot go in, tight enough. Leg belts. Now I should tighten the leg belts. First I should put it through the first hole and pull to make sure that it's tight enough and then put it through the second hole just like the waist buckle. Then you should double back this as well. Now you do the same for the other side. Double back this as well. And uh, my legs drop to the First turn. Now I'll make sure that everything is correct. Uh, as my first check. Everything is not tangled and everything is tight enough. Now I'm ready for my double check. Hi, I'm Jessica from Miss Miss PE class and I'm here to check her harness. Waist buckle. Waist buckle is great and this is double back. Leg buckles. Yes, black buckles are great too. Yeah, but just for safety, put it through here so it's not hanging from when you're rock climbing and it's tight enough. Leg straps. Leg straps are not tangled. Elastics. Okay. Elastics are pointing away from the body, so it's good. Pull down. T-shirt. T-shirt is underneath the harness, so it's great. Now I'm ready for my triple check. I'm Lee from Miss B's A block, and I'm going to show you how to make an eight knot. Length. First, put it across your shoulder and head. Let go and make sure one side of the rope is shorter than the other. Then make a head for the shorter rope. Strangle. Then strangle the knot, pretending it's a monkey, poke, and poke it in the eye, and then pull. My name is Darren Kim, and I'm from Miss V's A Box. So now since I have my eight knot, I'm ready for my double eight knot. Pulls. So as you can see, there's a leg strap pull right here, and then above that, there's another pull. So you put it through the first pull, which is at the bottom. And then put it through the second hole. And then pull it until the eight, the eight place reaches to the bottom hole. Now I'm ready for my double knot. Follow. So as you can see, there's a rope following the eight. And with your long rope, you have to go through the eight. And it's okay if there's a long space here because that's going to be your holder. Now I have to go in through here. And then 
back out. So the last line is all in this place. And then now I have my eight knot. Tighten. So if you want to tighten it, you have to tighten each one individually. Now I'm ready for my double check. Now I'll be doing a double check for a double eight knot. Um, this is about the right length from my belt that the double eight knot should be, and seems like it's not tight enough. So if it seems like it's not tight enough, then you should tighten each foot individually. And if you can't pull any more, then she's good. Now I'm ready for my cute Uh, so, I'm sorry. First, stretch, stretch the rope across your chest up to your shorter rope. Strangle it. Strangle it. Poke. And pretend the... Pretend this is Monkey. Now you have your eight now. Not now. You have to pull it individually. And I got it wrong. Okay. 